Piano Soleil. Soleil. I really love the opening of this and it actually was sort of the same at the ending as well. I like how they used the same placement for the girl in the opening and closing shots. I really, really enjoyed that effect with the fire, especially at the end when it just looked like she was pushing it. It was really cool, especially with that red dress. Beautiful dress, beautiful um, wardrobe there. And the whole thing was just such a, such a beautiful landscape they chose for this, but also must have been very difficult to film. And for the performer with the wind and the dress, that dress and the wind, and to also have your body movements and, and your dance be so, you know, perfection. It was just so good and so controlled. I thought she did a really great job. Um, and the red dress was perfect for this. Um, very interesting dance, body movements. Nice wide shot of the ocean when she was walking out um, on the rocks. Uh, and the sunset at the end was just beautiful. The sky was beautiful. So great job to everybody. I'm sure the editing and the camera work was very difficult for this landscape. Uh, I love that the landscape was also part of the, the story, sort of the character as well. Um, great job all the way around. This film is called Piano Soleil. This was a breathtaking short from Quebec. I really enjoyed it. It was both visually and orally stunning. The shots off the top of the seemingly trapped performer in the cloth was intriguing, which made the escape outside on the beach and rocks in the wind and water all the more freeing. It was an excellent combination of beautiful visuals and incredible piano score. The music was so rapid and frantic at times, which really worked with the windy shots. The wardrobe of the red dress was also striking both close up and from a distance. Well done, Piano Soleil, check it out. I really enjoyed the use of the color red. It was a very vibrant red that kind of clashed with the scenery around the dancer, um, even fully engulfing her as she fought. I love that that was more like her inner turmoil where she's lost and fighting, but still a very present force. This was something that was very, very beautiful. I think the filmmakers chose a great location for this because it was a gorgeous location. And they put their dancer in a very gorgeous and vibrant dress. So she really stood out and you weren't distracted. I think if she had been in a dull dress, you probably wouldn't have paid attention to her as much as the scenery. But putting her in this vibrant color really pulled out what she was trying to convey. She wasn't one with the land but rather her own person, an individual who stood, who was willing to stand out among, amongst the scenery. It was really, really gorgeous and a beautiful dance. Wonderful piece. Absolutely beautiful. I, um, first of all, the, the, the music was, was just spectacular. I loved, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, the, the piano was just gorgeous. The composition and the execution of it by the pianist. Um, yeah, writer and pianist together just did a, a wonderful, amazing job. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely loved it. And uh, the dance, and I, I can see that the, the performer also, she did her own choreography. It was just extraordinary, you know. And I love, first of all, like when you, when you take uh, dance off the stage and you go out into the wild like this, it's uh, it's really nice. You know, the, the wonderful cinematography, wonderful use of imagery, and then um, you know, seeing her on the beach there, um, you know, in, in the swath of fabric there in the beginning, all the images were wonderful. And she did an incredible job, a wonderful performance, wonderfully emotive performance. She moved beautifully and perfectly. Um, it was just, it was great. So the whole thing was just like a wonderful painting with sound and movement. So, uh, you know, great job on this. I hope it gets out there and gets seen. It's quite extraordinary. Piano Soleil. Piano Soleil is a, a very um, exciting short, I see. I love the, the, the use of color, the red dress, basically the main character with the red dress and she's wrapped in this red kind of fabric and she, she, she and then we have a sudden change of scenario and the, the, the scenario is never the same and, and all is accompanied by this uh, beautiful uh, piano melody that starts slow and then it keeps pacing and pacing and pacing until the final climax. I think it was a very 
uh, very well done short and above all the cinematography and the direction really really make justice to the absolutely stunning performance of the of the dance the main dancer so uh, on top of course of the beautiful and uh, poetic piano music so overall this was a very well done short very well developed and uh, really really exciting to watch congratulations piano soleil so i think it's interesting how we are immediately introduced in a sort of cold open um sort of way to the character and the story with a contemporary piece i like the piano score that runs throughout the short i like the change of environment that we're taken through um through the character from desert to beach and dry to wet um so that is my comment this was really well done the entire piece just had this cool vibe to it. The dancer herself was, she was absolutely amazing. She had this beautiful, she was powerful, but yet vulnerable all at the same time. And I thought that that was really neat. I loved what the filmmakers did with their camera angles. They had their dancer um, and the camera kind of inside the train of the dress to where it was just, you know, her trying to move through this red mass and everything in that was so crystal clear. I thought that that was a really creative and excellent work. The cinematography on a whole for the locations that they were in, it was just absolutely beautiful. I thought that they did a great job with that. Um, and I loved the special effects at the very beginning. They did a really nice touch of special effects, which I thought was very cool. Great job.